the hole's getting pretty big. What happens when it gets too big and we're, I don't know, falling into it, stuff like that? I think we'll just have to park the excavator down inside of it and, you know, like literally be underground or in the ground when working. That makes sense. Load from down below. You got to drive in, build a ramp. We're a ways out from that, though. There we go. Cleaning up some of the loose stuff. It's getting pretty hard down there, this excavator. Nah, it's working good. This is way better than our smaller one. I was gonna say, don't be talking trash about that one. It's brand new. I know, we spent a lot of money on it. And I'm full. Hey, what do you say we take a break from this and go work on some trees? Yeah, absolutely. Those are good money makers. I'll head that way. There we go, getting some money. And when you say work on trees, you know our trees aren't mature yet. Like, we can't cut those down. Yeah, you were correct about the ones we planted the other day, okay. but we do still have a lot in storage, yes. and our bank account's looking pretty low. I'd like to go uh, sell some of those. I'm with you, brother. I'll get loaded up. And I'm pretty sure last time we used this, along with our new trailer, it's got three axles back there, so it can hold quite a bit of weight. And we loaded them sideways, right? You wouldn't do the same thing? Yeah, well, we kind of did like half the trailer one way, half the other way. That's true. Yeah, if we all maybe do it sideways, we can fit even more. I think you're right. Let's try it out. Hey, quit just watching me. Get those hands dirty. Start loading. Okay, but uh, we have an issue. What the heck? Where did that come from? That's what I was wondering. Did you plant this thing? No, it's full maturity, dude. We would have seen this a long time. We were just here two seconds ago, and th that was not there. I feel like uh, this thing is not supposed to exist. I think we found a bug in form, Sim. Bug number 2364. Oh well, yeah, it's not the first, won't be the last. I guess we have some extra shade now. Yeah, it's actually kind of nice. Right in our loading area. If we ever get tired, a little warm. Yeah, a little bit of shade, you're right. Way to see the positive in things, boss man. What's the saying? The, the glass is half full? Sure, absolutely. We're probably about half loaded up. Now we're going to grab some more trees. How's our stockpile looking? It's looking pretty good. We uh, probably pulled, what, 25, 30% out of what we have right here? Yeah, yeah, probably 30. That sounds about right. Here we go. Let's put it in drive. Pedal to the metal. Drop the hammer. Oh my goodness, we're spinning. Okay, I actually kind of think we should put some more weight in the front because- fr I'm pushing you. Okay, I guess we'll be fine. We, we can add weight in the front. It's just going to weigh that vehicle down even more. Yeah, I don't think it would hurt though. We're going to have more traction. I just have no weight on my front axle. Hmm, okay. Uh, yeah, we can then dump some stuff in there. But it's not a big deal, too. If you can push me, be my tugboat in the back, we are loaded down. This is well over half our wood supply we had in there. This is going to be a big paycheck. I'm guessing more than 50000 Hey, get back on me. There we go. Yep, here we are. I'm pushing you. Go, go, go. It's kind of hard to stay, like, centered behind you. Yeah, we got to get over these curbs. All right. I think doing this one crazy trip, like one huge haul is better than like making two smaller ones though. The amount of time it takes to load it, we got to strap it. And two trips back and forth. There we go. Thank you very much. Yeah, I could steer a little bit. This is working. I feel like once we're on the main road going straight, it should be fairly straightforward. Get it? I get it. And hopefully we can pick up some speed. We're only doing six mile an hour right now. Swing wide, brother. This is crazy. There we are. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. I, when I look behind here, I can't even see my truck. It's blocked by the whole load. My mirrors aren't worth anything. You got to kind of be my eyes and ears. Uh, all I see right now is trees, and I can only hear the JCB engine. So I think we're just going to have to hope for the best. Looks like we made it. We better start turning. Hang a left. Here we go. Nice and easy. We think do not want to have to reverse this thing. You think I can make it? It's going to be close. I don't know, man. Oh, jeez. I think we Is got that it. as much as you can turn? Yeah, at one time, yes. That we're maxing her out. Okay. Push, Come push, push. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Tight quarters. I don't know how we're going to do this next turn. We'll get it. Swing wide like always. We'll make her. Here she goes. Sweet. We'll get it in the loading position and ready to sell. I'm excited. This, do you think this is our biggest load? We've done I, yet. It has to be, man. Yeah. Like, by far our heaviest, so. I think so, I yeah. I presume the biggest. Last one, we could actually drive down the road somewhat normal. This time, we needed a tugboat. So, let's see how much this makes. Well, that didn't go quite to plan, but it's somewhere on there. Let's see if it all sells. All right. It's now or never. Here we go. It all sold but one. 121,000. We got one log left, too. That is by far the record. 
Sell that last log, and we got some money in our pockets. This is awesome. Hey, one log sold for a hundred. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to read better. $1,217. Yeah. That's not bad. That's pretty good. We're just under 140 grand. What do you say? Let's stop by the dealership on our way back. I feel like this is a tradition. Oh, yeah. We got to see what's there. Last one there is a rotten egg. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Dang it. What were you saying? I got caught on your big tire that was in the way. I'm just going to try staying in front of you the whole time, and then I'll win. My top speed's way higher than yours. I might be able to actually beat you. Oh, it's a close one. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. No. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Oh, that was actually impressively close. And what the heck is that? I was going to say, I assume that they replaced... So we, we bought an excavator that was sitting right here before. The one, the big old cat. And they replaced it with a, another big piece of equipment, a Komatsu HM400. And it looks to be the same price as the Excavator, 150 grand. Man, this would be nice to have. Yeah, we always were joking about a bigger dump truck. What would be nice is if we could somehow sell some of the equipment that this is going to replace. I don't know, man. Maybe someday. But in the meantime, we need to make some more money. And I want to get this thing if you're down. Let's do it. Let's go back. And quickest way to make some money, I'm thinking, is to do some mining. And then, yep. yeah, we'll be ready for this guy. I'm down. Let's head on out. Let's park the truck and trailer over here. I don't think we're going to be using it for the rest of the day. Let's go. Get into position, mister. Perfect. Get out. Starting to dump. Oh, it's going to be nice having a big dump truck instead of these trailers and the really small JCB dump. I wonder what the top speed on the new dump truck's going to be. I assume only a few miles an hour, but... Who knows? Yeah, I'm not too sure. It looks a bit newer. It looks like it can hold 10 times as much. That's one thing we should probably look into before we spend all that money on it, but we'll figure it out. You're good to go. Get moving. I'm already ready to go with another bucket load, and Garrett's not even dumping. Hey, I'm doing my best. Hurry up, mister. That's what I like to see. We're over the $140,000 mark, a few loads, and we should be pretty close to 150. Heck yeah, 142. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm going, I'm dumping, I'm dumping. Hurry, oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Here we go. I had it too low. There we go. We're making a pretty big hole here. This is looking good. I agree. I wonder where the bottom is, you know? Like, when do we get to that point where it's just too hard to dig through? Yeah, I, no, I'm with you. Yeah, we're going to find that out here pretty soon. Let me get one more bucket for you. Come on, man. Unload it already. All right, I'm dumping, I'm dumping. Perfect, I'm full. I'll be right back. I think two or three more trips and we should be good. Yes, sir. Get moving, you're full. All right. You think we're about done here? Are we able to go buy the new equipment? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, you're stuck again. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I haven't looked up in a while, but look at our bank account now. We have been working away. I turned on the radio. I didn't have to listen to Boss Man anymore. Sitting in this machine's kind of nice. Again, I heard that. Okay, I'll clean out this little spot you keep getting hung up on. Yeah, we've done a lot of work. We were probably right around, I don't know, here earlier, and now we got a lot more. Probably be over 160, 70,000 here. Plenty of money to go. You finally figured out how to dump at the same time. Good job. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing. I didn't realize this at first, but no worries. as long as we're getting it done. Yes, we have enough money down. Oh, let's go head down to the dealership. I'm excited. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Jump in. Let's roll. All right, time to get an upgrade. Okay, I need to know, man, how fast do you think we're going to be able to go in the new vehicle? Dude, I have no idea. I ain't no expert on this kind of stuff. I know. I'm not either. I need a guess. Like, Here, you what? think we're going two miles an hour? You think we're going to go 50 miles an hour? Do 50. But what was the thing that the dump truck you were driving, what was top speed in that? Um, don't quote me, but it was between 25 and 35, if I'm not mistaken. Were you just in that for like the past three hours? Yeah, but I could barely get it up to speed when we were driving that short distance. That, that is true. And you're fully loaded. Get your checkbook out. We got to write one. All right. I'll sign it with your name. 150 G's. This hurts, but look at what we're getting. Big old rock truck. And we got her bot. Dang. Finally ours. Keys in it? It should be. Let's Turn it see. on. Heck yeah. She purrs like a kitten. I'll follow you. Let's head on out. Oh, wow. That thing is nice. Turn on the lights, man. Oh, yep. My bad. Let's see here. Any more buttons? I'm just going to click them all. There's the lights. It's a Kamatu, like we said. Big rock truck. Look at the tires on that thing. Here's top speed, about 35 mile an hour. That's not bad at all. And definitely got a lot of horsepower. Yeah, I, I don't think you're getting stuck. You don't really need to go 100 mile an hour. I don't even know why you're asking that. I worry more about how much this thing can hold. And it looks like the bed is bigger than our current dump truck. Race, three, two, one, go. Okay, I ah, see you. I almost got you. 
Honestly, I knew it was coming. If you didn't say anything, you would have got me. Now, I assume that thing doesn't have a trailer hitch, does it? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's okay. Hopefully, the size will make up for it. Jump in that thing. I'm taking the first load this time. The little rock right. pile we got stuck on before. Look at this. A full load of this is 13,000 liters. Yep. Let's see. Oh, geez. Let's Rookie see what mistakes. this fills up. What are you at? Uh, 37%. So, two and a half bucket loads. That's not bad at all. I'm going to stay out of the cab just because, yeah, that's why. Oh, how did you know that was coming? Well, I, your first load wasn't the prettiest, and I was like, you know what? I, I, for safety first, I better stay out of there. He's still learning the controls. There we go. We're full. I'm heading out. All right. That left me with 30% in the final bucket. So that was, what, a bit over two and a half buckets. Yep. And for sure, I'm in a low gear now with all this weight. Handles it just fine, but you don't go super quick. Oh, I can see you squatting a bit at the front there. Yeah, man. Interesting. I mean, it's a rock truck. It's not a Ferrari. This is what's going to be nice. Just seeing this all dump out in one go. Oh, yeah. Get that money. Oh, this is nice. Just half empty now. Still going. 3,000 buckaroos. 3,000 for one load. Now, I kind of want to test this out. Can it go in the hole and then get itself out of there? Not right now. You need to build me some sort of ramp, man. That's like jumping off a cliff it's pretty deep yeah, yeah no no not right now a little bit of work and i bet you can make me a ramp and we could officially call this a quarry you know where the rock truck drives in circles around pulls out well hey that's our goal then we have a new objective that's right let's spend the next couple hours here see how many loads we can get out of here and then how much money we got too that'll be fun don't call me a money pocket, engine get to rock it. Mm. It sound like a thunder rocket, yeah. I still love my baby even when it's toxic. Crazy like she Britney, but no, she don't shade the knock it. Oh, no. Russell Wilson, where I get low and stay in the pocket. I get paid and do my dance like a touchdown. Yeah. I'm hauling this thing out of here. Heck, we've got a lot done. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a little tired of digging, man. It's been, what, five days now? Chugga chugga, choo choo, this ramp. We made it just steep enough, just flat enough, I guess. Where we can get out. I think you load me extra full this time. Oh, yeah. We might need to look at what we can do to upgrade that engine a bit. Because I know it got more capabilities than what it's doing. This is a brand new truck, man. You talking crap about it? I feel like, you know, the air to gas ratio or something. I don't know how okay. engines Yeah, work. we could turn it up, chip it, do a little upgrade. Trees have grown since we've been working. How many days has it been? We haven't gotten out of the cabs of these things in a long time. I think it's been five. Five days. I could be wrong, though. And we're at just about getting close to $350,000. So our small little mining hole has turned into a full-fledged quarry. We can actually drive in it, dump, and load, all that kind of stuff. There we go. Another three grand in the bank. What would be really nice is if we got a couple more guys to help out. Because we have two dump trucks, two excavators. I mean, really four people we could really get moving. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, I don't have any friends over here. Do you? No, not yet. We need to find some. Maybe we can get one of those, like, robots to do stuff for us. I know. That would be super nice. There we go. The place is getting big. What the heck? I uh, mean, this is... Hopefully we don't get a big rain fill up with water. We'll see. I didn't even think of that, and I don't want to. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button. What the heck should we do next around here? We're getting pretty crazy into the mining world. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Eee!